Sometimes when you try to solve a circuit using the method from the last video, you might encounter a problem. For example, in this circuit here, you can start following the path of the current from this first opening junction here. But you can see that I don't get any loops. But there is also this other opening junction here, and we can start working there but we don't get a loop there either. That is because of the way that the junctions are drawn in the circuit. So in order to solve the problem, you will have to connect some of those junctions together wherever you can. And so one example of that would be these two junctions here, because when the current moves from here to this next junction, it's not going through any resistor or battery or anything that will lead to a drop or increase in voltage. So really what we can do is connect these two junctions together into one, like we have here. So now that we have them connected, we are only left with three junctions. And you can actually see that these two pairs of junctions can also be connected because moving from here to here, there's no change in the voltage. So we could actually connect these to there and completely get rid of this junction here. But I'm not going to really do that because the change that we have made with that single junction in here is enough for us to solve the question because now we have a loop formed by these two paths. Now try and calculate the total resistance of the circuit. So first we'll have to get the total resistance of the smaller loop which we had there. So that'll be 1 plus 1. So the resistance itself is going to be a half. And then this is replaced by a bulb of resistance 0.5 ohms. We'll have this bigger loop here. And so we can get the resistance of the bigger loop, which is going to be one third. And that is the total resistance of the circuit. Now, going back to the example from the last video, which of these junctions can you connect together? Well, moving from this junction to this junction over here, there aren't any circuit components that will change the voltage. So these two junctions can be connected together like this. But moving from this junction to this junction, we have these resistors, so they can't be combined. Moving from here to here, there aren't any circuit elements. Again, these two can be combined together like here. And from here to here, there are resistors, so we can't combine these junctions. But moving from this junction to that one, again, there are no circuit elements, so we can combine these together as well. And moving from this junction to this junction, there are resistors. And moving from here to here, there's also a resistor, so we can't combine these either. This new drawing of the circuit has fewer junctions, but it looks more complicated and isn't as neat. So unless you have to, it's better to avoid combining the junctions.